Hello, this is Angelica Macias from Cisco DAC Routing Protocols team. In this video, I will show you an EIGRP feature called Variance, which will provide the ability to perform unequal cost load balance between different paths. Traditional EIGRP calculates the best path to a destination based on different metrics called K values bandwidth, delay, load, reliability, and MTU. First, we have to review some of the concepts from EIGRP that are important to consider a path to be added to the EIGRP topology. The first one is the feasible distance. This is the least known total metric for a specific destination. For this example, we are going to work with the following diagram. In this topology, R1 learns the 192.0.2.0 prefix from R2, R3, and R4. R1 calculates the metric to this prefix and assign a feasible distance of 131,072 as highlighted in the screen. As we can see from the show IP route command, the best path to this destination is through R2. Number two, advertised distance or reported distance. is the metric of the neighbor to reach the same destination. In other words, the feasible distance of the neighbor. In this case, the feasible distance from R2 to the same prefix 192.0.2.0 is 130,816. The K values are then forwarded to R1. R1 receives them and calculates the advertised route, as we can see in the highlighted value. Number three, the feasibility condition. For a route to be successfully considered a feasible successor, there is a condition that must be met. The advertised distance received from the neighbor for the same route must be less than the feasible distance that is calculated locally. In this case, R1 has an advertised distance from R3 of 130,560. R3 meets the feasibility condition since it is less than the feasible distance locally calculated by R1 of 131,072. Whereas the advertised distance from R4 is equal to the feasible distance of R1. Automatically, R4 is not considered a feasible successor. Number four, feasible successor. A feasible successor is a backup path that meets the feasibility condition, which can be used to reach the same destination if the best path fails. To reach the subnet 192.0.2.0, R1 has one successor, which is the best path pointing towards R2. It also has one feasible successor going to R3. Although R3 has a higher feasible distance, it meets the feasible condition, hence it's a feasible successor. So in case R2 goes down, R3 can take its place. Load balancing is the capability of a router to distribute traffic over all the router network ports that are the same distance from the destination address. Load balancing increases the utilization of network segments and so increases effective network bandwidth. There are two types of load balancing. Equal cost path applies when different paths to a destination network have the same value. On the other hand, unequal cost path is when different paths to a destination have different metric values. EIGRP is the only IGP that has the capability to use unequal cost load balancing between different paths. For this, we use the variance feature. Variance is an integer that multiplies the feasible distance of the successor route so the feasible successors that have a metric less than the results of the multiplier can be used to load balance across different paths. In this example, we are going to use a variance of three meaning that the feasible distance of R1, 131,072, will be multiplied by 3, so the path learned via R3 can participate in the load balancing. Now, when we run the show IP route command, we can see that an extra path is added. EIGRP will load balance the traffic proportionally according to the metric. If the metric is higher, then the path will have less traffic passing through than the path with the best metric. Only feasible successors are going to participate in this unequal cost load balance. And this is the end of our video. Thank you for watching.